Hey everybody, welcome back to Jake's Walkthrough. We are still in Chapter 4. This is the second video. And we're about to resume our beef with the helicopter from the last video. Like I said, as soon as we jump down here, we will be attacked by the helicopter again. Should be fun. There's some crates here you can break. And uh, we'll get some grasshopper enemies. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Basically, give them. Why not? Okay, yeah, once you kill those three grasshopper enemies, it is helicopter time. Uh, interesting note. We're actually being assisted here by Jake and Pierce still. All this I'm taking that chopper out. You just really can't see them or know that they're helping you that much. Not sure. But they're uh, they they're high above us helping out. Uh, take that particular ladder up. You'll find these three crates here. Some more grasshopper enemies to kill. Thankfully, these guys only have swords. The real reason to some more grass off enemies. The real reason to uh, make sure you take this ladder is so you can boost Sherry up right here and let yourself go even higher. She'll kick that ladder down for you. There's quite a few crates in this area, guys. I mean, we got three, three. Here's four more. I mean, there's a lot of supplies here. These grasshopper guys can pretty much, you know, get to wherever you're at at will with their jumping ability. Our main goal here is to take down the helicopter. I pretty much walked into that guy. He did nothing. <laughs> I guess I got lucky. Uh, yeah, we have to shoot down the helicopter. Uh, the weapon you want to do that with is the Bear Commander. As you saw, they had instructions on the screen there. Here's three more crates. There's just a ton of crates here, guys. And uh, we want to get to that ladder over there. And as you can see, pretty much only Jake can reach this ladder. Sherry would just kind of have to fend for herself. But the best way to damage that helicopter is to get the bear commander out and shoot explosive rounds at it. I like to fight it up here. It's a good point of view. There it is attacking Chris and Piers. It does hover in uh, one location from time to time. Like right there. Clearing inventory space is very important with all the uh, supply crates in this area. You're going to have to play the waiting game quite a bit in this fight. In order to get good shots in at least. See I missed that one. And it will drop off more Javo. As you can see, no! the general no! idea is to climb the rope when you can. Watch and learn. Of course, with uh, three Javo right down below me, makes it kind of hard to climb the rope. <laughs> no one can say I'm not persistent.
There's actually some more crates down there. shot. Oh, hey, by the way, you actually get a special trophy for climbing the rope on the helicopter instead of blasting it to death. I can't quite remember what it's called, it's like point blank or something. You end up shooting the helicopter pilot. Or overkill, I can't quite remember what it is. That was a good shot, I killed some Java with that shot. Let's me climb the rope in peace. It tends to focus most of its attention on Chris and Piers. Once you get to the top of the helicopter, it's pretty easy. You'll uh, automatically equip your magnum no matter what. It's pretty easy to point downwards and kill the guy. Very satisfying to you. And what's weird is this uh, cutscene, even though you... I mean, we, we both saw you uh, killed that guy. It still makes it appear that Chris did it. Contact with anyone. Does he know that Wesker was my father? Uh, I don't think so. Why? No reason. They just rubbed him the wrong way. Of course, if you did that in real life, you'd probably die with the helicopter, I would imagine. But our heroes are basically invulnerable. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about the helicopter anymore. Now we're going to... This upcoming section is basically us going through the streets of China. Did you even see the kind of helicopter they said? There's a crate to the left the right here. Cost around $15 million. Man, terrorism is lucrative. Maybe they have an oil barrel or two in their pocket. Oil barons. You know, the country I was born in, people think Uncle Sam causes most of the problems in this world. It's a lot of crates. Good stuff. Six in total. After you grab those, make your way past this barricade and stop directly to the left is a box with some skill points in it I'm pretty sure somebody sent me a message um, after I put out the walkthrough with absolute Steve that there was another skill point box here somewhere I have no idea where that would be though I searched the place. I sure didn't find any more. Of course, I may be blind. Who knows? Some more crates. Those uh, Java that you saw can't be uh, caught up with. Some more crates. But uh, more importantly, there's another serpent emblem here on the left-hand side of the street resting on the car. You're the only one who 
Pretty easy to get. Well, shit. As long as there's no pressure, right? Some more crates. And that's basically it for this alleyway. We're going to do some fighting coming up here, so be sure you're ready for it. Reload, get your health up, whatever you got to do. If I remember right, this upcoming area is actually the area that was released in the Resident Evil 6. Yeah, it is. So th this area is pretty much the Resident Evil 6 PlayStation hey, demo. So if you play that, you should be pretty familiar with this area. There's a green herb right there every time. And that guy is going to turn into a street loop. See, if you melee them, you actually get this special, uh, this special move you can do to them, which I failed the button prompts on, but it's pretty cool. It's only if you melee them. Another interesting note about the street loop. Can't believe he didn't hit me there. Like I said earlier, they don't like melee. There's a box there. Thousand skill points, very nice. Never did grab that herb, did I? Huh. I only just now noticed that. Maybe I didn't have enough room and wanted to use that flash grenade. Let me assume that's my reasoning here. I'll bet I go back and get it. There's uh, crates on the sides of the street. Two on the left side and you got this one on the right side. Ah, okay, I remember it. Cool. And you guys also see that ladder coming up. We're going to need to go up that at some point in time. But there's also enemies down at the far end of the street. It's a good time to do some sniping if you wished. <laughs> or a good chance to help the enemy by giving him a mutation. <laughs> that one cocoons up on us. As does that one. I think there's at least one more down there. And there's a couple boxes right here as well as some NATO ammo on the box there. Yeah, see there's one more. Darting a couple more boxes. And he cocoons up as well. Now these uh, cocoons are going to turn into streetlets, but not before we separate ourselves from Sherry. There's a door here that we need to get past. This one right here. It's bolted shut. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Come on, we gotta figure out a way to get this thing open. To get the thing open, as Jake so eloquently puts, uh, you need to climb this ladder here, two sets of ladders, and you'll reach a bar at the top which only Jake can pass. So Sherry is pretty much on her own for right now. 
And of course, once you uh, jump over here, you can look to the left and drop down. Once you do that, the streetlets will emerge, as you can hear. Sherry, it's open. As Newman would say in Jurassic Park, uh, oh, that wasn't Newman, was it? It was uh, that ranger guy. Clever girl. Clever girl. Newman. <laughs> ah, he was the, uh, he's the fat guy, wasn't he? From Seinfeld. Those are the only two things I recognize that guy from. I have no idea what else he's been in. Now, this area has no enemies in it at the beginning, but they're coming. Kinda wish I had a flash grenade, and if you Sounds had like one, that. I would recommend getting it out. Like Once you go to the end of this area, a whole ton of Java will emerge from the door, as you see. I try to be clever and uh, put down a remote grenade. Not a bad idea, I just kinda wish that they would have grouped up a little more. I guess it worked out pretty well. Uh, if you wished, you could also climb on several of these uh, booths around here and shoot down below at these guys. Thank you, Sherry. Aside from fighting all those Javo, there's really nothing in this area. There's something to note though, check out this box in the corner here. That was taken by someone else. Not much you can do about it. So once you kill them all, go ahead and open up the door here. Sometimes I'm getting a flash grade grenade out there because sometimes uh, a couple more will drop down from the corner here. Especially when the music is still playing, the combat music, like you're hearing. But I didn't find any more. Okay. Anyways, we're approaching my 20 minute mark, so I'm going to wrap this video up soon. Be sure to grab those two crates and head up uh, two flights of stairs more. And keep your eyes peeled on the left for another skill point box. Very handy. Is it 2,000? Oh, 4,000. Not bad. And at the top, of course, you see the weapon icon. Time for a new weapon. This time, we will get a shotgun. Very handy. Sweet. Okay, ladies and gents, uh, that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me as always, and I hope you'll come watch the next video, and I'll see you then. Okay, take care, everybody.